I'm John the Engineer Turmel. I stand because I don't want to whack anybody. Now, January last month, the Global Mail reported that half of Canadians are 200 bucks away from being broke. Not you people, but your kids and your grandchildren are going to suffer. Now, I put my program to verse. 96 seconds. Canada's Debt National had much stability till 1974 starts exponentiality. Same in Ontario, Quebec, debt's doubling over time. Did debts all start to grow in big coincidence to mine? The Bank of Canada once made loans to provinces and fed without the interest that causes budgets to turn red. With only depreciation and re repair so easily affordable without the banker's share. But in 1974, Pierre Trudeau cut the fee, said no more interest-free loans for infrastructure need. All governments must borrow now new funds from private banks and raise new tax to service interest with bankers' banks. But worse, in 1968, Pierre lifted the cap on interest from 6% to 60. That's the wrap. In 12 years, central bank rate went to 22%. More tax to pay greater debt at higher rates was spent. <coughs> oh, God, how did we lose that? <laughs> All right, so Pierre Trudeau is responsible for debts out of control, for lifting rate cap, ending infrastructure loans his role. Oh, God, so little time. Our taxes disappeared since over 40 years ago. Um, since Pierre, uh, for interest on Trudeau's debt, we didn't have to owe. If we got that $2 trillion tax, since Pierre had helped banks us fleece, dividing back the cash is 60 grand a piece. So your kids could all have 60 grand a piece in their bank accounts if you let me reprogram the computer instead of being 200 bucks away from broke. I agree. Obviously, for those people computer literate, I want you to be able to log on to the Bank of Canada's computer, like PayPal, open an account. But instead of pledging a credit card, you pledge a thousand hours of labor. And now you use that interest-free credit line at the Bank of Canada to settle all your mortgages and interest-bearing debts. And then after that, all your payments go against principal. And someday, you're out of debt. Has anyone ever explained to you how to get out of debt before? To pay it off completely. If you got access to the Bank of Canada's computer, if you got a central bank account, someday you'll be out of debt. Well, you older guys, you're going to stay in debt forever. But your kids could get out of debt if they wise up like you guys never did. Remember, you're the ones who let them tell you that raising interest rates fights inflation. Raising cost of production brings prices down, and you bought it. I didn't. The problem is that everybody borrows new liquidity from the Bank of Canada or from a bank. Call it a pump house and dump it in the pool. And now they dump the principal in the pool, and they got to try and come back with the principal plus the interest. No amount of splashing the funds in the pool is going to solve your problem in the pump house. There's an imbalance in the pump house. We owe more than we get. We can never pay it. So no amount of splashing in the pool is going to help solve the imbalance in the pump house. Okay, presuming we don't use the Bank of Canada. Here's how Argentina did it. Six provinces in 1985, when they were going broke and they were going to lay off all their workers, the healthcare workers too said, no layoffs. We will accept small denomination government bonds in our pay if we can use it for hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses. And six provinces started paying all their employees with provincial bonds as currency. And guess what? Within a few years, they paid off all their foreign debt. Now, you didn't hear about that, right? Doesn't make the news when someone prints up their own currency and gets out of debt. But Argentina did it! So, I call it the Argentine solution. We could do it too. So, it's all, not always bring down the cost of health care. We could bring up the cash in people's pockets too. If you Google for great Canadian gambler, I come up. 
I was a professional gambler 42 years. I was known as the professor at the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City because I was the teaching assistant of Canada's only mathematics and gambling course. So if anyone has the right to make a living gambling, it's me. Now, when you explain it to people in chips, it seems easier, though they'll forgotten by the next day. But imagine that the bank in Canada, we use their chips to pay people to build new housing. And as fast as you build new housing, we give you new chips. Now you're going to spend those chips, and those people are going to end up with those chips. And they're going to come back and they're going to buy the housing. But they don't have to pay any interest on the housing, just the depreciation. So when you're only paying for depreciation and repair, it's so easily affordable without the banker's share. So vote for someone struggling with their mortgage. Did you know mortgage comes from the French words mort, meaning death, and gage, meaning gamble? Death, gamble? Everybody borrows 10, everybody owes 11. At the end of the game, someone is short and loses their house. So I want to make housing affordable rather than let people struggle with their death gambles. Well, put it on your resume. I tried to stop the climate from changing. Can you imagine anything more stupid than trying to stop the climate from changing? Now, when you wanted to stop global warming, that had a direction. That made sense. But 20 years ago, when global warming stopped, they used a trick to hide the decline. And now they changed the name to climate change. You think it still means global warming, but it stopped. So, when I found out that they lied to us and that they hid data from us, I said, hey, these guys are scamming us for some reason. I'm not going to believe that warming is global until we're warmer than when Greenland was green 800 years ago. And when you see everybody saying, oh, it's definitely man-made, we're causing the warmest years in history, we're not. The medieval war period was way, way warmer than our little blip right now. And just because they didn't tell you the truth doesn't mean you can't go dig it up. I did. I'm not paying no taxes. Well, still fooled by trick to hide decline, but still they lead the way. I tried to stop climate from changing on their resume. Well, I have the same education as Mr. Spock. Systems engineering, applied science, and mathematics and gambling. I can figure out the winningest way to go. Which is why I'll bet a hundred bucks that I'm right and they're wrong. Next year is going to be colder than 1998 and colder than the dirty 30s. I bet a hundred anybody wants to take it. So, I'm sorry. because I can come up with the cash to give them paychecks. If you YouTube for Termel and for Bus Bucks, you'll see videos of me asking a hundred different students Hey, would you work for six bus tickets an hour? Would you shovel the snow for six? Would you clean the park for six bus tickets an hour? Twelve bus credits an hour? All but one said, sure. So imagine, we could be using unused bus capacity to pay unemployed kids to do stuff for us. Now, don't tell me that isn't the smartest idea you ever heard in your lives. Right? Low <laughs> transit. The kids take the bus. Anyway, the point is, every major city, everybody, all the kids were sharp enough to get it. Maybe you got a kid who can explain it to you. But paying kids with bus tickets is a brilliant idea. Hong Kong did it. I pushed it into Brantford mayoral election in 2010. I didn't get in, and a year later, Hong Kong did it. Har har! They're brighter than we are. Well, I would tell the youth, 50 years ago, I got an interest-free loan from the government to pay for my education. Thank you, and I paid it back. But another good reason to vote for me is I'm the guy who's fighting the legalized pot in the courts. That's me. I made him drop two, 4,000 charges in 2003. Me on Parliament Hill smoking the doobie and get arrested. But I didn't bring my case. So, most people don't know that marijuana regrows brain cells. Neurogenesis. Brand new brain cells. Which explains why I'm so sharp and they're so dull. <laughs> 
Well, most of them are here because Canada supported the United States in blowing up their countries and then polluting their countries with uranium ammunition. They can't go back. It's poison. We have to help them clean it. So they're here to stay. And if you want to send them back, remember, they're coming for a war from a war zone, and they're a lot better at killing you than you are at killing them. Now, I don't fear that, because I give them an interest-free credit card and say, go find a job and get rich. And they all would, just like every hood, every bum. You give an interest-free credit card, we get into the business and try and get rich instead of mugging you. So, for the same reason, an interest-free credit card would calm the jitters of our thugs. It would calm the jitters of immigrants from overseas who know how to kill us better than we can kill them. Any rebuttal? Um, okay, I'm from Brantford. I live three blocks away from the Brantford Casino. I haven't spent much time in this riding, but I spend a lot of time in Port Perry and Casino Rama. So, <laughs> go through once in a while. The reason I run in my 98th election, and I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for running in more elections than anyone else, is because of this Let's Time Bed software. It allows single parents to log on what nights they can double duty babysit each other's kids and then pay each other with one hour bills, even when they're broke. A time bank. You put in hours taking care of their kids, they'll put in hours taking care of yours. And I'm the producer of this software. So I run in all elections telling people I don't need to get elected. I just need someone with a brain to go get the software and do it yourself. And in 1996, exactly that happened. The headline super loser fails again, but the next month, Hamilton Self-Help Group starts up Hamilton Let's. Mission accomplished. So, I run in every election to spread the word of how you can save yourselves. And if you're not interested, hey, your vote's going to prove it for you. Your kids are the ones 200 away from the vote. Time's up. Thank you. So, everybody thinks you should be helped, for sure. And there's nothing they can do for you. Oh. Now, if you had to get up and go to set up your own do-it-yourself, let's time bank. Well, at least you'd get a night off once in a while by double-duty babysitting with a next-door neighbor. But the mechanic might decide to take three hours per hour in his shop. And the dentist might decide to start to take six hours per hour in his chair. And you'd have a whole network of support grow around you if you started up a community currency. Because they all need babysitting hours. So, you can... Listen to them as they say they want to help you and they empathize with you and you really should be helped, but they can't do anything. They got no money. Or you can go print your own IOUs and pay the mechanic and the dentist with them and help yourself. This is the reason I ran in Parliament an equation, media called it the miracle equation. It explains that interest causes inflation. It doesn't fight it. And that's why I've run in 98 elections to try and get rid of usury, the biblical sin in the Bible, the sin that leads to death, gamble. So, if you go to my site, which I took out, smartestmanonearth.ca, smartestman.ca for short, you'll see that all of the explanation for how we could reprogram the Bank of Canada's computer to save your kids is there. And I know you're not going to vote for it. So when your kids end up sleeping in the car, I just want you, and when you end up shoveling your own snow, I want you to remember me laughing. Ha, ha, ha.